welcome back to the errand. As you can see, I've made a lot of progress here. I've got the rest of the cabin sole in, and uh, I'll show you that uh, in a minute. Uh, I wanted to start off this episode by talking about fuel tanks. So as I start building the uh, stern here, um, I've got to get two fuel tanks. I'm going to do 50 gallons each. My question to you guys is whether I should do uh, aluminum or polyethylene. And I haven't really been able to decide uh, even after reading about the differences a lot. So I know that originally there was two aluminum fuel tanks. There was one tank right up here and it was a, and it was resting on two cross beams and the the benefit of an aluminum tank there is it's more rigid so it can span the gap and support itself whereas I don't think a polyethylene tank would do that it would probably sag unless I put more supports under it and then I want to do a second tank on the uh, starboard side here After a very, very rainy spring, uh, I'm finally able to start painting the cabin top. Uh, so I've been kind of getting it prepared for maybe a month now. Um, I was ready to paint it a few weeks ago, but it's just been 
non-stop rain so I, I finally got a few days here of sun so I'm gonna see what I can do now uh, first time painting a top side of a boat and I went straight for all grip so uh, we'll see how that goes uh, everything I need here um, I'm doing a white top coat so I've got to have a white primer doing the epoxy primer and uh, it's also you have to have a converter uh, they're going to be mixed uh, together one to one I've got reducer if I need it I'm using a, a roller with a, sh a short nap brush or cover I think this one's 3 8 inch, uh, 1 4 inch. Uh, I'm gonna mix it up real good because it's been sitting for a while. A uh, small, cheap brush in case I need to get any uh, edges or corners. And uh, I'm probably gonna do the, the first primer coat pretty thick. Uh, so I don't plan on using any reducer. Uh, but just in case, I'll see how it looks. I wanted to, you know, fill in as many uh, gaps that are there. Get it as uh, get it on as heavy as I can, so then I can sand it again as I build it up. Probably do two coats of primer. Now I was forging ahead on the, the cabin top, getting that primed and painted, but uh, as soon as I put the first coat of primer on it, it, sh it revealed a bunch of uneven spots and uh, it was n not as smooth as I thought, which I could not see when it was just fiberglass, so... I had to delay that to go back and sand it some more. And then I realized that I... I'm probably gonna wanna get some high build primer. And so I had to order some more primer, which now I have to wait another week or so for it to arrive. 